both teams have made it this far in the Champions League, but there is one more significant hurdle to clear, and that is the semi-final hurdle. Who's going to make it? It's Milan. They take on Inter next on EA TV. Hello to you from Milan, a city synonymous with high fashion. The stadium might not be fashionable anymore, but it remains iconic for San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It's Inter, and they take on Milan. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And this is how it looks for Inter. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Romelu Lukaku starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And the striker today is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Francesco Acerbi. Danmian. Chalanolu. Matteo Danmian. And a strong tackle. Martinez. Could play it in. Just the challenge that was required. Diaz. Well, he was under a bit of stress, but back to the keeper. Romero Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on. Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here. Well, in many ways, he's a throwback to the 80s in the way he plays. He's so strong when holding up the play. He can outmuscle opponents. Today, the defenders will certainly know. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. And that would have been quite the early boost for them. Well, it may be early in the game, Derek, but that chance has to be taken. It's a poor finish. Matteo Damian. Brozovic. Martinez. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Well worth, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. Mm. 
Benassa. It's with Diaz. And Milan looking dangerous. And a decent delivery. And there it is! The opening goal of the derby goes to Milan. And that has silenced the majority in here. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Underway again with Milan in charge. Barella. Barella. Martinez. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Played over. Safe pair of hands did his job. This could be dangerous if he's not careful. Rafael Leao. And now passing it through. What a shot from miles out. High echelon goalkeeping there. And short it is. Hernandez. Krunic. Tonali with it. And teammates to play it to. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Well, I think it's fair to say he got underneath that just a little bit. Barella. A very timely interception. Lukaku! And a goal! Real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top class goal. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Brahim, he's got space. Crossing opportunity. Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Lukaku. The ball with Martinez. Krunic. Diaz will this corner bear fruit for them but he's gone short with it and a tidy ball 
Tomori. Oh, the threat is there. Ibrahimovic! And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Barella. The ball with Martinez. And slipped through beautifully. And this is Brozovic. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now the pass not finding its target. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Losing possession. And this is Brozovic. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Lukaku. On to Martinez. Well, the alarm bells are ringing a bit. Brahim. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the San Siro. Well, this man, Romelu Lukaku, a very difficult opponent, and the verdict, Stuart, has to be positive. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. Ibrahimovic. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Gives it a go. Chance maybe. Well, no damage done. Lukaku. Leal, well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. This could be dangerous. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Alessandro Bastoni. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. Di Marco. It's with Chalanolu. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, it petered out. Barella. Really good interception. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Benasser. Leal. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. <laughs> Martinez. Will it happen for him here? And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. And 
plenty of room in the wide area. That's an effective cross, end at the back post. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Dumfries well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Rafael Leao into the advanced position and played in with haste well such a high degree of difficulty not quite in the end well how good was that it's such a difficult piece of skill which he made look so easy that deserved a goal Alessandro Bastoni. Really good challenge. Giroud. Not a great challenge. Free kick here. And the referee deciding to admonish him, but not book him. I think that's good refereeing. It's a foul, but no more than that. Well, how can we put it? Not a free kick that's going to live long in the memory. Well, how we can put it, it's a poor effort, poor technique, probably the wrong decision as well. That needed to go into the box. Francesco Acerbi. And snuffing out the danger. Well, they might be onto something. Didn't fall the keeper. Playing it short. Krunic. He's going forward well here. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Short corner taken. Tomori on to Giroud. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can they take advantage of the situation? Must take the lead here. And the penalty has been given here. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. So, to make it 2-1. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Radek Krunic Sandro Tonali superb defensive judgment to end the attack Giroud 
Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Now potential danger. Well, the attack fizzled out. Dzeko. Lukaku. Well, the supporters think it's on. And using his body to good effect. And so into the final five minutes. And that pass could be troublesome. Not to be this time. Lukaku on to Dzeko and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger if they can score again from this corner it probably would be the end of the story time for a change then he's driven in the corner well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, no damage done. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And let's give credit to the defending. Dzeko, terrific block. Now, who can he play it to? No let up in the pressing department. And the decision offside here. The clock is against Milan, but they've got the ability still to hit back. This could be the equaliser. And a goal! It's the leveller! And I'll tell you what, that's the way to silence the fans. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. And there's the final whistle. A thoroughly entertaining semi-final first leg. And I must say, Stuart, it bodes well for the return match. Yeah, fantastic first 90 minutes, wasn't it? Exactly what you want to see at this stage of the competition. Let's just hope they can replicate that in the reverse fixture. Romelu Lukaku does know how to take a game by the scruff of the neck. What would be your verdict on his performance? Well, what a brilliant display that was. He was so clinical in front of goal. Unfortunately, the rest of the team couldn't match his quality, could they?